Hello and welcome to this, the second video in our Cardiac Measurements How-To series in which we'll describe the method for measuring the E-point to septal separation, commonly called the EPSS. Again, please remember that this is a how-to guide only. If you'd like information about indications for taking this measurement and interpretation and implications of the result, then please consult other appropriate resources. Node scan in the right parasternal short axis view at the level of the mitral valve. If you're already happy and confident taking that view or acquiring that view, then please carry on. But if you'd like details about how to acquire it, then please click on the link at the end of this video that'll take you to our basic echocardiography video series. And then it's worth spending some time just practicing to make sure you can acquire it accurately and reliably. So the first thing we need to do to take this measurement is to acquire the appropriate view. And what we're looking for is a nice cross section through the left and right ventricles with the left ventricle appearing as circular as possible. We've got the interventricular septum in the middle there and then we want to be able to see the mitral valve leaflets opening and closing throughout the cardiac cycle. Um, they sometimes described as having a fish mouth appearance and that gives a particular view its nickname of the fish mouth view. When you're happy you have the view optimised and acquired appropriately, then the next thing we're going to do is to select our M-mode cursor. As with uh, the other sections of these, this video series, please note that how to pull up the cursor on screen will vary from machine to machine, so it's just a case of learning how you need to, or what you need to do to uh, bring that cursor up on the screen on your particular machine. Once we have the cursor on the screen, we then need to try to align that cursor such that it crosses the leaflets of the mitral valve perpendicular to their long axis, whilst also ensuring that it cuts through the um, lumen of the left ventricle at the diameter, i.e. at its widest point. You may find that in order to achieve this, you need to swing the heart over to the left of the image slightly, and you can do that just by either by pointing cranially a little bit, so pointing towards the animal's head, or in some cases you can also move one intercostal space cranially to achieve the same thing. Once we're happy with the position of the cursor, we can activate live M mode, and then we're just going to allow several cardiac cycles to pass before saving a cine loop. What we want to see is clearly defined traces of the interventricular septum, just here, the mitral valve leaflets, here and the left ventricular free wall which is just here as well as of course the left ventricular lumen. Once we're happy with our stored cine loop we can go ahead and make our EPSS measurement. The first thing you'll need to do is just select EPSS from your measurements menu. The exact way in which you do that will obviously depend on which machine you have. Once you've selected EPSS from the measurements menu all we need to do is to click our first cursor that appears on the tip of the peak discursion of the septal leaflet of the mitral valve. So that's this bit just here. And then we simply click our other cursor onto the endocardial surface of the interventricular septum vertically above the first cursor, i.e. at the same point in time there. And the absolute value that we get, the absolute measurement in millimetres, is the EPSS, or endpoint septal separation. Just bear in mind that, as with all the other measurements we're talking about taking, and indeed, any other measurements that you make in ultrasonography, it's always worth just repeating the measurement several times, three or four or five times, just to be sure that the result that you get is accurate and representative of the truth. So there you have it, very simple. You can check out the other videos in this series for more cardiac measurements to practice, or visit our website to look at other educational content. Happy scanning!